Now this aspect of feed and feeding, we'll be looking at, you know, we've done two aspects. We've done two aspects, that is the aspect of two ingredients, the aspect of more than two ingredients. But this aspect now, we'll be having more than two ingredients contributing no protein. More than two ingredients contributing no protein or fixed ingredients contributing no protein. That is fixed ingredient contributing no protein. That is when you have more than two ingredients that has fixed ingredients with it, but they are not contributing any protein. Now let us see a question. Now can you see the question? The question says, formulate a 16% diet using maize. Let us see the solution. We have to use maize. The maize is 8.9% CP. And GNC, we are giving it to be 45%. Now they're using the following fixed ingredients. Now, the fixed ingredients, we are given the oyster shell, the oyster shell, oyster shell is five, we have the palm oil to be 2.5, we have the salt to be 0 0.5, we have the wheat to be five. Now that the total is 13.5. 13.5, let's see if it is equal to 13.5 in total, because we are given in the question like that, that the total totaling 13.5%. Let us see. Now we have 5 plus 2.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 5. This is 13. Not 13.5. Do we omit anyone? Okay, yeah, we, we omit premix. There's a premix there. So premix is also here, which is also 0 0.5. So we add 0 0.5 to this. So this one is 13.0. If we add the 0 0.5 to this, that will now be 13.5. So the total, they are correct with their totaling to be what? To be 13.5. Now that means the total fixed increment. Total fixed increment is 13.5%. But the total, the total fixed increment is 13.5. Now what's our target diet? Our target diet, we are asked to formulate the feed of 16%. Now, because of that, now we now start by saying total increment, the total increment that must be inside a feed must, the total increment is equal to the total fixed increment plus the total variable increment. The total increment is equal to total fixed increment plus total variable increment. Now, total increment is always 100 because we are talking about percentage. It must be 100%. So, it's equal to the total fixed increment we are given is. 13.5 plus total variable increment we don't know. Now, we now have 100 minus 13.5 to be equal to total variable increment. So total variable increment will now be, that's if you subtract, if you have 100 minus 13.5, your answer is 86.5. So we have 86.5%. That's total variable increment. Now, the total variable increment, you now see, okay, oh, this is the process. We now see if 86.5% can contribute, if 86.5% here can contribute, what's our target diet? Our target is 16%. Can contribute 16% CP diet. What will 100% give to us? Let's say X. Again, if 86.5% can contribute 16% CP, what will 100% give us? We don't say X. So now, cross multiply. If you cross multiply, you have X times this. That's 86.5 X. 86.5 X will now be equal to 16 times 100. That's 16 times 100. Now, if X will be 16 times 100 over 86.5. So now, press this on the calculator. We have 16. We have 16 multiplied by 100 over 86.5.
Now this one is 18.5. Now we have this to be 18.5. Now this 18.5 will now be our new target. Our new target. This will be our new target. So listen again to this please. We use this 13, the total fixed increment to get total variable increment. We now use that total variable increment to say that if the total variable increment of this can contribute our target diet, what will 100% exactly contribute? That's what we look at. That's X. That's what we are looking for. That's all no. They cannot cross multiply. That's X times this will be equal to this times this, which is this. So making X is of your formula, you end up having it to be 18.5. Now from here, we now have, from there, we now see, since we have a new target, which is 18.5, then you now go to the wall, to your what? Your piercing square method. To your piercing square method. Now the piercing square method, this will now be our new target. So you will now write your target diet here, which is 16 year. So it will be this one that you are going to write. That will be 18.5. And we are given miss. Miss we are given is 8.9. We are given the GNC to be 45. Now, GNC, we are given to be 45. We are given means to be 8.9. Then let us subtract. You know, the, you must have watched the previous two methods, uh, the previous two uh, aspects before you come to this one because this is the third aspect here. So you must have watched the first aspect, the second aspect. It is those two aspects that will lead you to this third aspect. Now, half this aspect, we have... If you have watched the two aspects that we did before, you don't need to have issue with this aspect now. This will now be 45 minus 18.5. This is 26.5. Now the other one, that's 8.9 minus 18.5. Your answer is 9.6. I told you, even if you get negative, you neglect it. So that's it. This minus this will give you this. This minus this will give you this. Now, subtract. Now, you add this together. When you add this together, we have it to be 36.1. 36.1, and don't forget that I told you that the addition of these two must give you this, the subtraction of these two. So that is it. Now the next thing is that you go to percentage quantity, the percentage quantity of increment. The percentage quantity of increment. Now, you start with the first one, which is maize. So for the maize, maize will now be, what's the, what's the value of maize here? That's 26.5, all over the total number, which is 36.1. So multiply by the total variable increment. And what's the total variable increment here? The total variable increment we got is 86.5. So multiply by 86.5. On the norms, the one we've been solving before is that you multiply by 100 because it is percentage. But this time I, we are, we've used variable increment. So once you use variable increment, you will not multiply with the total 100 again. It will be multiplied with total variable increment. So now when you check this, the GIC as well, will now be the value for the GNC here, you know, you trace it like this. That will be 9.6 over the total pointer, which is 36.1. Then multiply by the total variable increment, that's 86.5. Then let us press on the calculator. Press this. This will now be the fraction button, 26.5 all over 36.1. Multiply by 86.5. Then the value here is 63.50. Because if you are plus that will be 63.50. Then the other one, which is the GNC, will have it to be 9.6 over 36.1, then multiply by 86.5. If you check this, this one is also 23.0. So we have it to be 23.00%. So this one is also in what? In percentage. Now, after this, we now say that, okay. The next thing is that we cross check. If you cross check, we cross check we are for the miss. What's the percentage of miss? That's 63.50 all over 100 multiplied by the quantity of the miss given to us is 8.9. Quantity of miss given to us is 8.9. So for the GNC as well, we have it to be the quantity of GNC is 23.00 all over 100 multiplied by the quantity of GNC is 45. It's 45. Now, if you 
plot if you attempt this you have this to be 63.5 all over 100 then multiply by 8.9 what's the answer the answer here is 5.65 5.65 then the other one is 23 over 100 the multiply by multiply by 45 if you press this this one is 10.35 now if you add these two together 10.25 you have 5.65 plus 10.35 your answer is what is 16 so the answer is 16. So which is the 16% CP, which is our what? Our target diet. We have to formulate 16. So the quantity here, the quantity of mace you need is 63.50. The quantity of GNC you need is 23.00. Provided you are given this fixed ingredient, your starch shell, palm oil, salt, wheat, and premix. But they don't contribute either protein or what? Or energy to the world, to the feed that you are what you are you are formulating so that is it now take this as an exercise formulate a diet with 70 percent cp using the following ingredient you have the mace you have the gnc and you are given the fixed ingredient here they don't contribute to what pertain to the world to the diet now let me have the answer to this at the comment section and what's the answer i want to have the answer is what's the quantity of of maize that will be mixed and what's the quantity of the GNC that will be mixed as well now when I solve my own this is the quantity and this is the quantity of the GNC once you are right with this you'll be right with the cross checking so that was it once your cross check is right then that shows that the quantity of the words of the ingredient to be mixed is also right so let me have the quantity of the maize and let me have the quantity of the word of the GNC at the comment section like comment and subscribe let me have this and share for other people to use i'm sure that you bless my name popularly known as general david thank you very much god bless